Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Slavik. Good to see everybody. And welcome the guests of my channel as well. If you're new, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, my wonderful collectives, let's do another reading for you. Whatever messages I have for you today. Let's see. Messages for my collectives today. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune and Six of Pentacles. Things are turning around. Turning around in your favor. It's also the time I feel like very crucial and important time in your life um, happening as I speak. Is the universe have observed your situation for a long time. For a long time, analyzed, received your messages, received your manifestations, and decided to reward you. Because Six of Pentacles is about reward. It's about reward. Okay? I also have here Queen of Swords. This is your identification. And on top of that, I have Six of Wands. Victory. Victory. Victory that you deserve. You had to fight. You had to stand up for yourself. You used your intu intuition. Right now you're an energy of swords. And swords it's about standing up. It's about victory. It's about justice. It's about intellect. It's about standing up and fighting for oneself. Fighting for yourself. And it, it's not an easy victory. It's not an easy victory because I feel like... <laughs> victory that is coming towards you that recognition that is coming towards you success we have a rider here riding a green horse success green is about abundance victory did not came to you at easy price did not you you've been through through hell you've been through a lot but I also have here a little butterfly symbol. Butterfly is a, is a symbol of rebirth, the symbol of change, the symbol of hope, and a symbol of love. And I have a crow here beside you. Crow is a messenger, messengers between the worlds. So uh, you fought. You, you fought for, for truth. You fought for justice. Whatever happened here to you in the past was not fair. Somebody else by Six of Pentacles was favored. So it is willing by the will of fortune, whatever it is happening at the moment right now in your life. You need to understand that the universe and the higher power have everything under control. And you need to know that. You need to remember that. What situation you fought for? What happened? What happened? What was this situation? Because I also feel by Queen of Swords, um, you're strict. You're strict. You, at some point, cold. You're calculated. Okay? Maybe in the past. Who were you in the past? Because I feel like you were in the different energies here. Who were you in the past? Because this difficult situation I feel like you've been through made you who you are today. You have a sword. You had to fight. Who were you in the past? Yeah, nine of wands. Hurt, defeated, broken, betrayed. You were betrayed. A very difficult and painful situation that you had to go through. Unfair situation. Also go hand in hand with the six of pentacles. Situation that... Uh, <laughs> that you felt powerless you felt by nine or once like you had to you had to stand up for yourself you were wounded you were injured and on top of that ten of swords you were betrayed and backstabbed defeated defeated by someone's manipulative techniques so this situation definitely here without doubt made you very strong queen of swords nobody's messing with you anymore even if anybody attempts to come close to you and try to manipulate you, 
try to cause you any harm. I, I see that you're going to see right through because you have a wise advisor here. You've been through death, literally, spiritual death, pain and suffering. You've been through that. There is no bullshitting you anymore. Everyone who comes near you has to be a pure of heart, like you. <clears throat> so know that it is willing for your victory. And this time, the right way. So who betrayed you? What happened was this betrayal? I feel like whoever did this to you just did it quickly, intentionally. There's a justice card here. Justice card. Legally, someone might have utilized legal um, tools to defeat you. You were betrayed by the justice system. You were betrayed by judicial system. You were betrayed. I have swords here. So you you take in control of this situation. You hold this, the, the sword of truth. And once again, we have justice balanced. We have a scale. We have fairness. Whatever happened to you then was not fair. And uh, was nine of once, I can see that this situation was very prolonged. It might have been years that you had to stand up for yourself. But you will be kindly rewarded, fairly rewarded for your suffering. It's your own victory, your recognition. So you were betrayed. By whom? Who's responsible for this betrayal? Who set you up? I feel like you were just set up. Nine of pentacles, two of pentacles, money, financial issue. Financial issue. Your life was destroyed. Your heart was heartbroken because there is another female here. Queen of Pentacles that demanded your suffering. Wanted you to suffer. This is some other female here. So the contributor to what happened was a female that had some sort of financial stability. Finances. Maybe at that point, this, this female, this individual um, was more successful in some way or has some connections, but she demanded, she demanded your um, prosecution. She wanted you to be detained, restrained, so you have no movement, no success. So I'm assuming this female... Uh, interfered interfered in your relationship because i see her broken heart three of swords pain destruction she destroyed your life she completely destroyed your life so there will be a truth if this female have done damage to you if this female uh, caused you injustice in life if this individual participated in slander, in, in damaging your life in any way, shape, or form, she will be restrained. She will be restrained. So expect that. You will witness with your own eyes what will happen to your enemies that wanted you to fall, that have backstabbed you, betrayed you, and put you in a position where you had to, through pain and suffering, fight for yourself. So know that this individual will be held accountable. What else, what else can you tell me about this Queen of Pentacles? I have East. She could be from the East side. Located East. From you. North East, maybe. Because I have North East. Location, North East. So there is distance between you. I also have male, female in the uniform. Of course, because I feel like this female here, see? Player, manipulative, karmic. Maybe this is because of a male in uniform. Maybe you dated a person who is a cop or was in uniform, who was a player, who was a manipulator, 
who betrayed you because there is a betrayal here. I feel like if this is a person that you were with at one point, this is, could have been because I do see here with three of swords pain. Pain you, 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 that was shocking to you. You did not expect it because this betrayal that happened to you was unexpected. You did not expect it that this person could actually betray you. But they did. They did without hesitation. They did and they have chosen most likely another person that had some sort of financial stability uh, to offer to this person. It was a betrayal by a person you never expected to be betrayed. And direction I see northeast directly. What did this uh, Queen of Pentacles wanted? Why did she was so obsessed with this idea of causing you harm? Seven of Pentacles. Oh, she, she was working. She was working because she felt like she invested into this emperor, right? There is an emperor here. There is a masculine here. She wanted to be with some sort of masculine. Or the masculine have um, chosen this person because of some sort of financial stability, financial opportunity, employment connections, contracts, money, wealth, status. And generally this person thinks of themselves. There's this masculine here that, like I said, betrayed you because you did not expect it to be betrayed by this person. Even though this individual shows up as an emperor, that's what he thinks of himself. That they're the greatest. Who, who are they in reality, okay? For this Queen of Pentacles, it was a good perspective. This masculine was great. Uh, she, she wanted to be with this person, okay? But the Page of Cup, you know, Page. It's, he's a Page. Page. Page of Wands, Page of Cups. This individual did not have nothing to offer to you. That's why this individual have chosen potentially a relationship with this Queen of Pentacles because of some sort of financial stability by Nine of Pentacles. But it's not the problem. The problem that you faced, that you most likely suffered legally. There's legally here something was done against you. Miscarriage of justice. It's a traitor. It's a traitor that did not, that only um, posed himself as an emperor, posed himself as a responsible person, responsible man. But deep down, this individual is a page. If this person have chosen another woman here, Queen of Pentacles, there's stability there, financial stability. So this female have wanted some sort of masculine. Yeah, most likely married because I have Ten of Cups. It's a family. Family. This person was with you, betrayed you, backstabbed you, and decided to have a relationship and family by Ten of Cups with this female because she, she were promising him stability, financial stability, security, and maybe this person does have that. Let's see how this person feels with this female. Eight of Wands. It's, it's work, it's employment, see, money. Money, it's going good, financially going good. It's a relationship based on finances from his side. How does she feel towards him? How does she feel? This other woman here. Lonely. Ham hermit. Hermit. Disappointed. Sad. Alone. Lonely. It's empty. Empty relationship. Empty. Emptiness. Searching. And it's ending. This relationship is ending. It's not going to last. Death card. It's ending. Because when a relationship is based on finances, it's, it doesn't last long. When one person loves another person, 
but the other person does not love that person or in love with that person, that relationship is doomed to end. Out of this two of them, one loves and one doesn't. But like I said, there is a stability. There is a financial stability between these two people. That's what keeps them together. Money, work. They either work together. They have business together. There is money, career. Everything is great. All keyed here on finances. So I feel like this situation um, causes you a lot, of, a lot of pain and suffering. But on a positive note, look at you now. Look at you now. Queen of Swords. A fighter. You you learn how to fight. You become stronger. This situation made you stronger. You learn how to win. Because you defeated your own pain. Like a phoenix reborn from the ashes. So in regards of this female here and this masculine, this whole situation here of betrayal, setting up, this situation ending. Plus on top of that, uh, this queen of pentacles, if she has done damage, if she have caused you any issues with the law, where there was a miscarriage of justice, where there was slander, there will be restraint. She will be restrained. I don't know about the masculine. Maybe they were both in it. Tell me more about this Queen of Pentacles. What else can you tell me? Drama Queen. Yeah, she's... she's... Drama Queen and Divine Masculine. There you go. Drama. She's thirsty for chaos. She brought this chaos. She involved a lot of people against you. For some... Because, like I said, she... To be honest with you, without this money, without this coin, she has nothing to offer. Nothing to offer. So I feel like there's this level of, of drama. She involved a lot of people. She didn't care. She didn't care. Did you invest it into this masculine? Did you invest it into this masculine here? Let's see. What were your hopes for this uh, masculine here, this page. Well, the Knight of Cups, you saw that this person's sincere. You have some sort of stability with Page of Pentacles, okay? You, you, you trusted this person. You trusted this masculine. You did not know that this masculine was seeing, see, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of, Ace of Cups. You had big hopes for this person. You thought that this person is responsible as an emperor, but this person did not meet your expectations. This person betrayed you and chosen a female, a partner that had financial stability. But deep down at the beginning, I see that you you put, you hope, you, you thought of this person as a blessing. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, you thought of them, this is your blessing. That you're meant to be together. But that person was all along with this other woman. And you, you might have found out about this woman when on social media. Or when you maybe seen their pictures together. You didn't even know that he was with somebody else. But I'm telling you, this person have chosen money here. It's a relationship, marriage that is solely based on money. Regardless of what this, uh, this couple trying to present on their social media accounts or their family gathering or their whatever the case may be. It's a relationship based on financial stability. Not love. Not love. And I do see that it's going to end here. It's going to end. So this female here, drama queen. She must have participated because she did involve other people like friends, other people. She involved a lot of people to, to separate you, to seek this revenge against you. What else can you tell me about this drama queen and involving other people? I have lawyers. She, she might have involved lawyers with hidden motives, lying, wearing a mask. 
She might have involved other lawyers. Who knows what she involved or who she involved. It's a drama queen. It's a drama queen that besides some sort of financial stability, yeah, friends. Her friends could be lawyers. Or she has friends that know lawyers. Or some of her friends are lawyers. Like I said, I have a strong sense here of miscarriage of justice. And it's not that you have done anything wrong, because you don't. You didn't. You didn't. You were unfairly treated. Disrespected, betrayed used as a scapegoat simply because some jealous female drama queen that was thirsty for chaos wanted to separate you and seek revenge against you is sick. And you should understand that this female here, miserable, just like that masculine, because they come out both as pentacles. What's keeping them together is money. There is, there is no two-sided true love, which is not your problem, but... She might have had friends, friends who, friends of friends that knew lawyers, who else, cops, somebody else, okay? I also have medical doctor, somebody whose friends is a medical doctor. I have promotions, I have level up. So in other words, friends of friends, she involved other people. She involved other people, both legally, from legal department, medical department. You name it. Because by the Queen of Pentacles, she is a social butterfly, okay? She knows a lot of people because how else would she keep her status and her connections? She has to play the role of successful and represent herself as successful. But deep down, very miserable and broken person. Unloved. So, um... This situation, like I said, I understand that there's been in the past, but this is something that you need to know. That uh, this couple here who did this to you, they will be held accountable. They will be held accountable for that. Justice will be served. And you will witness. You will witness that justice will be served. Your truth will prevail. <clears throat> Main changes, sudden vows, see? Success, success for you, changes for you. In regards of this thief here that participated, there was definitely without some official person on a distance from you that was involved here, like I said, lawyers, doctors, whatever the case may be, person who holds some sort of official government status that was a friend with this female or the masculine here. Most likely female, because she's the initiator of this whole shenanigans. I'm sure masculine also contributed that. He knew he knew what was going to happen. He knew, uh, unless he was willfully blind and completely decided to ignore his own unethical and manipulative behavior, then I guess that's the case. But there was a fraud here. There was uh, literally given me the feeling of friends of friends kind of thing. We'll do you a favor kind of thing. And for some reason, you were used as a scapegoat. Not because you did anything. All because of this jealous person, this jealous queen of pentacles and her friends. You didn't do nothing wrong here. Tell me more about uh, this official person fraud. We've seen lawyers, we've seen uh, doctors, medical doctors of some sort. What else? Mm, medical doctor, some sort of doctor. Addictions, toxic attachment, obsessions. There's a medical doctor here. Or in the field of medicine. New you, new life stability. This is what's coming to you. Stability. So do not feel in despair. I understand you've been expecting this. You have been very patient for justice to prevail. And it will. It will. And there's nothing you can do to speed up this process. When Wheel of Fortune falls down above your head, 
as in this reading that specifically says that things are changing. Things are changing. It's time for putting things right. These thieves and liars and manipulators, they will get what they deserve, what they should have get from beginning. And you relevantly will be rewarded times 10. So there's a new life for you. There is medical doctor that she might have hooked up with or had one night stand or had casual relationship here. So there is definitely here some sort of intimate relationship that connected this doctor, this medical doctor and, and someone from these parties, maybe female, had hooked up or one night stand or had some sort of casual relationship with this medical doctor or somebody in a position of authority. Now, I'm not going to look into deep, more into depth about this uh, whole shenanigans uh, of corrupt, jealous uh, people. I will concentrate on you. So there's a new life ahead of you. Let's take a look. What, what other changes is going to come towards you besides the fact that you are going to be rewarded for your pain and suffering? Let's take a look. What else is coming? What else is coming for you? All right. Let's take a look. What else is coming for you? So victory, recognition. What else is coming for you, my wonderful collectives? Seven of ones. Seven of ones and six of ones. Standing up for yourself. You're above your enemies. You're above your karmics. They have, they stand no chance against you at all. At all. They're in the bottom. See? In the bottom. Why are you with your fire wand? Again, wearing green. With a shield. It's a difficult battle. But once again, you showing your enemies and your karmics who's who. And who you are and who they are. I also see King of Pentacles here coming up for you. And King of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. It's a new relationship for you. Romantic relationship. There could have been two partners available for you that would like to build their fa to, to, to have a family with you. Both kings. This is, could be the same person. But I see two of them. Two people. That you will choose. Or this is, could be a one person. But with, um, but the King of Cups represents that this masculine will bring you emotional satisfaction and love and joy. Right? King of Cups and King of Pentacles. It's a man. It's an individual for love and stability. Because I see you're going to have by Ten of Pentacles a successful ha happy family. Was this person. Happy family. This person coming in to make you happy. So. Um, I don't feel like it's going to be that past person. That betrayed you. It's a new partner. Tell me more about this person. New person. See a lover card. It's a new, new, new romantic relationship. New romantic relationship for you. Magician for love. You will choose, okay? The Empress. The Empress here. You're going to be an important important person for this person. You're gonna be a, you're gonna be a family. You're gonna be happy. And, and you as an Empress, like, like I said, you you know what you want, you know who you want. You're independent. You don't need to settle for anything. You don't need to choose partners that are financially stable because for you, most important is, is sincerity and love. And if you're going to choose a person, if you're going to choose a, a soulmate, a mate for you, you're going to make sure that there is emotional feeling, that there is love, that there is true love. Not, not money. Because by the Empress, you're yourself independent. You take care of yourself. So this person is coming in. See, Emperor. 
real emperor this time. And this is a new person. The full card means new person. It's a new relationship. Relationship that you might have never even experienced in your life. Because you have chosen weak men in the past and weak partners who were only pursuing financial stability for themselves. And when, as I mentioned earlier, when there is money involved, there is often no love. With this person, new person, there will be love and stability. You come up as a couple, both independent strong people that only going to be together because both of you will make each other happy. But it's a union made in heaven. Match made in heaven. I have a lover's card here. And this person is coming in, chariot. Coming in. Quickly, eight of wands. Send by God. Send by higher power. Eight of wands. God's like says, you two get together. Okay? So I feel like it's a person that you always wanted and the person you you dreamt of. A stable person, grounded, kind. Could be um, earth sign. Earth. I see, I feel a lot of water chart and earth. Earth sign, water. Aries could be. Emperor, stability, stable person. So regardless, uh, emperors and emperors, um, it's a long-term relationship. It's husband and wife. It's somebody that always will be together. You are going to be his empress and he's going to be your one and only emperor. you meant to be together. What else? I have freedom. See? Freedom. You, you, cutting, you, you cutting yourself off of this toxic relationship it doesn't matter the past it doesn't matter see freedom you you free you freeing your heart you freeing your heart to allow true love to settle inside of your heart and that's the right thing because you deserve to be happy and you deserve to love and you deserve to be loved you do not need to spend your time sinking, investing, hoping, waiting for somebody who discards you for money. And this is once again confirmed by the Queen of Swords that you do not put up with bullshit. That's what it means. So by freedom, you take in the time, you take in the time to heal, you're taking the time to grow into the empress you are and the empress you become to allow this beautiful, divine, soulmate, true love, energies, and connections to enter your beautiful, precious heart. And I also see here forgiveness. Forgiveness. Maybe so maybe you, your ex will try to ask you for forgiveness because I do see nostalgia here. Nostalgia, maybe your ex, one of this person could be your, your ex. Excuse me. Okay, nostalgia. But you still will pursue a new relationship here. You don't want nothing to do. Nothing to do with, with what happened. With this whole drama show. And the way you were investing in somebody. And then got booted. Plus, on top of that, had some sort of uh, issues that you had to face for nothing. Just because some female was jealous and there was money in here. But someone here, you know, have feelings. Feelings towards you. Passionate feelings. This is your new person. Will have passionate feelings towards you. Emotion, bliss, happiness, joy. And waiting, right? Waiting. You're either waiting for this person, which is, that's a good thing. That's a good thing because often the greatest things come to those who wait. So you're doing exactly what you needed to do. 
I see nothing here but happiness and joy. What else? Seven of Cups, it's your wish fulfillment. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, the only thing really that looking back, again, I have Ace of Cups, I have Ace of Pentacles. The only thing that you will be remembering about that past, the nostalgia, okay, is the fact that you spend so much time and investment in something that never has stand a chance to be. Seven of Cups is often the card that represents self-illusions. Illusions that you um, believed in something that wasn't really possible. Maybe, maybe you give your past person way too much credit that that person did not deserve. So all of this coming to realization is the fact that so much time have spent or you spend so much time reflecting and healing from your past relationship. But you have to understand that everything common is perfect timing and divine timing. And no matter, no matter how hard we'll try to speed up the time, we can't. Your true love is here, not, not the past. Not the past that turned your back on you that betrayed you and caused you pain and suffering. It was lessons. You learned. You grown. It was willing for the universe to change who you who you are and who you were back then because the divine had a greater plan is to connect two beautiful souls together and you and that new person grown tremendously at the same time reflected at the same time so you perfectly would be ready to meet each other in a right perfect timing and that person is your soulmate soulmate ace of pentacles and again confirmation that it's a new person okay beautiful beautiful reading so this is what what is waiting for you okay Okay, my wonderful collectives, this is the reading I have for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.